How about new? Okay, this is my second attempt at recording this. The last one, obviously these are not scripted. I, I found myself just repeating myself too much. Like, a lot of these swords are just generic swords. Uh, I don't have too much to say about these ones, you know? So it's like, I'm going to skip over a lot. I'm only going to talk about the more notable ones. So, I mean, like anything like the Sailor Cutlass or this, whatever, I don't care. They're, they're okay, they're good, uh, but they're just generic. So, this one... I, I don't know what the red's going for, but I think it looks pretty cool. I think it, the, the gold one looks a little better, but then again, the blade is different. I don't know. They're, they're both good. Uh, these are going to have to get... This is going to get an A. This is going to get a B+. Plus. This one, I, I like the blade. It's more curved, but the handle, the, the guard there, that looks like melted cheese. <laughs> I think that looks pretty bad. That's going to get yourself kegged. This one, it's not as bad. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I know that's like a real design. I just think the holes in it look kind of stupid. But uh, yeah, that, that gets a B. It's pretty good. This one, oh, how did I miss this one? This is the best one of these ones. So both of those get an A. Uh, this just looks like something out of Flintstones to me. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. It's, it's fine, but that's going to have to get a, a C. I never liked the Hunter stuff. Like, none of it. It all looks like toys to me. Like like a Mega Bloks toy or something. And I don't know about the sword, but every other thing, like the especially the Hunter Blunderbuss, looks really small to me. Eh, okay, so the sword doesn't look too small, but yeah, it just doesn't look right to me. So that's gonna... All the Hunter weapons, get yourself kegged. This is really cool. I love how the, the guard or the handle, whatever it is, is like a torch. That's awesome. This is, getting a, this is getting an A, absolutely. One of the best swords in the game. Now, I I you know me. I don't like the crab stuff. I don't mind the design here. I think it looks pretty cool, actually. Again, I just got to criticize it for being blue when none of the crabs in the game are blue. Um... So the, the other stuff, there, there's actually, there is a red one here. I don't know where the purple's coming from, but that's not too bad. That's going to get a B. Everything else in the crab set is going to have to get a C, because it's not bad. It just doesn't match the world that it exists in. Um, the Kraken stuff, the, the guard is a little much, but I love the blood on it. That's not ink. Ink in this world is black. Like, that's that that's Kraken blood. So that's pretty cool. I, I like how all the reskins have different blood. Uh, like, that's a less lesser splatter. This is near the tip. I'm guessing this was a stab. This was a slash. This could be anything. Um, and this is just like a little bit of splatter. That's really cool. I appreciate that detail. So the, the Kraken swords absolutely get an A, despite the fact that the handle is a little much. The Sea Dog stuff, pretty cool. I like that kind of stuff. It, it almost looks a little bent, kind of like Dooku's saber. Like, that that part right there looks a little too... I don't know if that's a real design or not. I'm, I don't know much about weapons, but uh, no, it's pretty cool. I think the gold bits on the blade would be a little problematic, but not too much. I mean, you, you're not usually using these swords for stabbing anyway. But if you did, those would, would, those would cause some uh, resistance in it, and you don't want that. That, yeah, these are, uh, well, that one gets an A. What, what's the, yeah, that's not as bad as the other stuff. I think the feathers being the same color there is okay. It's not the same color. Like, the cyan is different from the blue of the guard. So that's pretty cool. They're both going to get an A. The parrot sword, I really don't like these. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It doesn't look like any part of a parrot to me. Um, the blade is all bent out of fuck. That's going to have to get yourself kegged. I think these are ugly. Now, the Legend Cutlass, everyone loves it. I use it. I mainly use it as a trophy. I do like it. My only concern is, other than the fact that, you know, going back to what I said about the gold bits here, those panels of the Legend logo would be very... It would throw off the balance of the blade, and it would be impossible to stab with. But my main issue is, why is the blade purple? It looks like it's in a fancy sheath. It doesn't look like I'm looking at the actual blade. <laughs> I've always thought that... Um, I will continue to use this sword. I had to work fucking hard for it, but yeah, it's not my favorite. I'm going to have to give, give it a B. Briggsy sword, I would love it, but it's really dull. Like, the gold is super dull. It doesn't match any other gold in the game. 
if that was bright, if that was the same color as it, how did I miss this by the way? Sorry guys, I must be out of it. Um, if it was this shade of gold, it would absolutely be A tier. It'd be like my second favorite sword. Uh, this one gets an A by the way. I don't like the, the guard, but the gold blade, I have to love that. But uh, yeah, I love the design otherwise. I, as I've said before, we need more jewel encrusted things. That's very cool. So this is going to have to get a B. It could have been A, but the gold doesn't work. Rose Sword, it's pretty similar to this one, but uh, yeah, that that's pretty fucking cool. It's going to get an A. I love that. I hate the Ashen Dragon Sword. It looks like a, a balloon. It, it, it again looks like a inflatable toy. I think it looks pretty stupid. That's going to get yourself kegged. Sword of Souls, I love this. Uh, the lightsaber, if you will. <laughs> we need more rapiers, and we are getting them. I, I know that, unfortunately, we're not going to get rapiers of every set. Like, we're never going to get one of the legendary, which is unfortunate. That would look pretty cool, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like it. I saw some fan art of this, where, like, a reaper version. Because I, I, I don't know, this is going to age poorly, because I'm sure they're going to add that sword in the future. But that one flame sword on the loading screen looks like a uh, corrupted sword of souls to me but i think this fan art would be a way better idea for what that would be but either way this is going to get an a i love it I, again with the melted guard but these colors are fucking awful no this, this is what umbridge would use to kill harry potter uh no get yourself keg but also go to the shadow realm jimbo the i am not a fan of the red lightsaber it's It's got way too much going on there. I don't know why all of the Reaper weapons, or at least the Reaper's heart weapons, have wings and hearts on them. It just... I, I know Flame Heart, you know, I, I get it, but a heart, to me, at least one that's not his exact logo, doesn't fit their whole aesthetic to me. It's a little silly. I like the gold part, though, but, uh, yeah, could be better. It's going to have to get a C. This... Uh, it's not bad. I'm never. I was never a fan of it. It's not amazing. It's gonna have to get a, a a C. It's whatever. Cause like, it's not even like a cool ghost sword when we have this. This is way cooler. This is. I don't like the. You can't see it from this angle, but the uh, metal plate holding it together, which it shouldn't need if it's a ghost blade. I don't like that. But otherwise, this gets an A. Soul Flame is one of the best swords in the game. Cutlass of Courage looks fucking awful. It's it's it's. It, just, it looks like a, a hammered sheet of metal. It does not look like a finished sword to me. It's jagged. It would not be good. No, this is fucking ugly. It's really rare, though. Uh, Again, I like that. Nothing more to say on it. It's got that hot purple iron color. Cutlass of the, the Barnacle. That is really cool. This is what uh, Davy Jones' sword should have looked like. I don't remember what his sword actually looked like in the movies, but... The Cthulhu thing. It looks cool, but uh, this this is... Cause, I mean, is Cthulhu canon in Sea of Thieves now? I don't know. I, I love all of the... Because I mean, it's simple. That's what Rare doesn't understand. Most things that are ugly in this game are ugly because they're neon Fortnite skins. Or like something you'd see at a World of Warcraft. We need simple pirate things like this. This gets an A. All of the Barnacle stuff gets an A. I love it. This is a unique one. Is that blade slightly different? No, it's not. Um, this is this doesn't match anything. This is like a unique set. It reminds me of that weird Emporium thing. Um, I don't like it. This is gonna have to get a, a to get yourself keg. I'm only mentioning this because it's it's a unique item set for some reason. Surprised to see a Kopesh. Um, nothing in the Order of Souls screams that kind of culture to me but it's pretty cool i think it looks awesome uh it's gonna get an a nothing nothing fancy about it it's just good my friends don't like the gold hoarder weapons but i think they're really fucking cool uh it's it's yeah i can kind of see where it looks a little bit more like a machete than a sword uh a machete that's trying to be a sword because it has that cutlass guard to it but I love it. I think it looks pretty cool. There are better swords. It doesn't look like a, a cutlass to me, necessarily, but it's a cool sword. That's going to have to get a B. A, a solid B. Like, maybe a B plus. This is... I know it's just a crab. I know it's just a reskin, but it looks like a fucking Christmas tree. It looks stupid. It, this is terrible. This is get yourself kegged. I think this is the better version of the uh, Dark Adventurer sword. 
I don't like the Dark Adventure Resort. I think it looks pretty stupid. That one gets a, a, a C. But this one, I know it suffers the same problem as the Legend Sword, but I didn't forgive it on that one either. Uh, the panel would throw it off, but it does look cool. It, it just look, look, looks like a Dark Adventure version of the Legend Sword. It has the same problem where it looks like it's in a sheath rather than that being the blade itself, but I used to use this before I got this one. So this is going to have to get a, a B plus. I like it. Uh, that one's not too bad, but I think all of the the Magpie's Glory weapons look like chewed pencils. It's just the color. If that if it was a different color, it'd probably work. But uh, that's gonna have to. It, it, it's uh, it's a C that could have been a B. I don't mind the colors. It just looks silly to me. This it looks like you. Well, it definitely has that melted cheese guard to it. It looks like you took this sword and merged it with this one. And this one, it, it's got way too much going on. I, I, I think that's that's pretty bad. That's going to have to get to get yourself kegged. Okay, this sword pisses me off. This is not the red sword that we saw in the Season 3 preview. He had a red rapier that was made of metal. We never got that sword. This is a cutlass, and it ha it's not like metallic red. That If you look at that, I'm going to show it to you. It looks like wax. Just the way the light hits it. I really think that looks pretty stupid. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't like it, Chief. Like because it's not it's not gonna get a D because I don't like it. It's gonna it's getting a D because I don't like it and we were lied to. This was not the sword in the preview, we never got it. So fuck you, Rare, and fuck this sword. I think that looks pretty bad. Looks like a a piece of celery dipped in nacho cheese. That's going to have to get yourself kegged. This one's pretty cool. I love the gold to it. Uh, the the metal... Okay, yeah, yeah. The heating... The, the, the fiery part's different. I think that looks a little better. Yeah, I like that. That's an A. This... I was mentioning balloon swords earlier. This literally is a balloon. This looks terrible. It's got the right gold. That's the right shade of gold. If you made it thinner and got rid of Briggsy's inflated mask, I think it would look pretty cool. But no, this is this is one of the worst swords in the game. What what are you guys doing? And this right here probably is the worst sword. This is get yourself kegged. This entire weapon set, especially the rifle, is a fucking pool noodle. This is awful. What are you guys doing? Now, we got these weapons before we got the the uh, Reaper layer, before we learned that you become a skeleton from the uh, Cursed Tree. So now the wood makes sense, but at the time it didn't. I have to dock points for that. Uh, I didn't think the wood aesthetic looked very good. I don't think this sword looks very good, and the uh, roots would make it very difficult to cut anything with that. But uh, I like the guard. That looks pretty cool. Eh, it's whatever. It's going to have to get a C. I like that. It looks a little too small. I don't know if it's just a small blade or if it's broken, but it looks pretty... It kind of looks like a katana, to be honest with you, which looks... It, it contrasts weird with their uh, Kopesh, but it's not bad. I don't know why the uh, all the Order stuff is kind of like a brownish metal. It, it looks okay. I always associated them with, like, silver. All their jewelry is silver. But, yeah, yeah that's going to have to get a, a C. I love the Merchant Sword, actually. This is one of my favorite ones. And no one knew about it. All of you guys kept asking me about that in Beard Stereotypes, I think. You get this from the Merchant Ledger. Um, but, yeah, it's this was absolutely an A. I love that sword. I would use it more if I didn't have this. Uh, this... This is not too bad. By the way, I'm not going to be including every Emporium skin that I don't have, because fuck the Emporium, fuck microtransactions. But uh, this is... Not, eh, it could be worse. It's going to have to get... I, I don't think it belongs in a pirate game, but it looks like a cool sword. And it's going to have to get a B. I think the shish kebab is very funny. Um, that's going to get an A. The orange, it almost looks like it's got like a foam uh, hilt to it. Like, like a safety foam thing. It looks weird. But again, we need more rapiers. And this is cool. I love Sarwan's sword. It, I've also called this a machete in the past. It kind of looks like one to me. But yeah, this is really fucking cool. This is going to get an A. I think this is supposed to be uh, Gloria's sword. Either that or Mercia. It's one of the two. Because it mentions uh, Gloria in the description. But 
it has like Mercia, to my understanding, was the one who taught Ramsey the immortality thing, and she made his amulet, and that's his amulet logo on the sword. So I don't know. It could be one or the other. It looks more like a knight sword to me, which, I mean, now we have the Guardian Knight titles. I really don't like that. Ramsey's becoming what he hates. Uh, like, a noble is kind of the opposite of a pirate, like, you know, um, a monarch, rather. And, like, he has his knights now. But I just feel like this looks like a European knight sword, not something you'd see on a pirate. Not even something you'd see on, like, a privateer or a Spanish whatever. It, it doesn't fit, in my opinion. It looks cool, but I don't I don't like it being here. That's gonna be good to see. It's a shame you can't get this sword anymore, I don't think. But it, it this looks awesome. The colors maybe could be different. It, it seems to be set in the uh aristocrat, the white aristocrat colors, but it looks fucking fantastic. I love it. Jewel encrusted, it's gold, it's simple, doesn't have any weird shit hanging off of it. That's gonna get an A. I don't like the fake legend stuff, but the sword is not too bad. My only concern is the uh, chain being black. If the chain was gold, that would get a B. Because I don't mind the guard, not guard, being green. When I say, I mean like the sheath is what I meant, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's it's not bad. It is it is worse than that one, though. So that's going to have to get a C. Interesting design choice for the heavy swords. Uh, I don't know if that's based on anything, but it looks okay. I don't like that weird pommel thing there. It looks pretty stupid. The rest of it looks okay. I think we need this sword without the barnacles in a steel color, though. A fully bronze, rusted sword kind of looks a little weird. But that, that you know what? I'm going to give that a B. Ghost sword, pretty cool. That's going to get an A. Nothing to it. It's very simple, but I like it. All my friends love Flameheart sword. I think it looks really stupid. Um, I don't. Th- I don't know if that hook there would even catch swords you'd have to like hook the other way right um i don't know i get that it's supposed to look kind of like an orcish like um hastily hammered together it's functional let's just send it out kind of thing but eh, i don't like it i feel like flameheart would have had a cooler sword i feel like he would have used something like this he's the fucking literally the burning blade that does not look like fire to me it just looks like like it's a like made by the worst blacksmith this is uh this surprises me. It's kind of like a one-handed glaive. It's not an axe. It's not a sword. Um it's interesting. I don't mind it, but it's a strange fucking design. I don't think I've ever, I've ever seen anyone use a one-handed glaive before. That's going to have to get a C. I don't mind it. It's not terrible, but it's weird, right? Not so much ugly, but weird. This is uh the best color scheme of the Ash and Dragon stuff, but uh, again, still looks like a fucking McDonald's toy to me. That's going to have to get a C. Uh, that one's not too bad for color, but same problems. Um, Yeah, again, same thing. It was like, I like having the option for a, a bronze rusted sword, but uh, we could use this exact model in like a different color. That'd be nice too. That's, that's going to have to get a B. I don't know why this is here. It, it It's a fine model, I guess, but... And, like, don't give me the bullshit of, oh, well, we had a shish kebab sword. That's still a sword, though. This is not a sword. I don't like the overly silly thing. I mean, you can have a cartoonish world without being silly. I don't... I mean, I think the chef shirt is awesome. It just looks like a generic, frilly, white pirate shirt. But this is stupid. This is a go to the Shadow Realm. I don't like it being here. I was going to wait until I unlock this to do this video, but... It turns out, generous gifts are really fucking hard to come by, uh, and you're not even guaranteed them. So, yeah, I uh, I would like this sword, but I really hate the fur. And if it was just on that upper part, it would have been fine, but the fur on the guard, that looks so fucking bad. I like the blue blade to it, though. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, that's going to have to get a very low C, a C-. minus. I think that looks pretty stupid. I don't know what's going on here. That's going to have to get yourself kegged. I like the fact that, that you guys are adding more incentive for people to fight over world events again. That's really cool. Um, but these rewards, in my opinion, are not great. That's going to, yeah. Now, this absolutely one of the best swords in the game. That's an A+. I love that. Not too bad. This kind of has the same problem. I mean, I don't see much of a difference between this and the other one, right? They kind of both look heavy to me, if we're going by that design. It Again, this looks fine. 
It looks more like something I'd cut bread with, but uh, yeah, I, I love the everything besides the blade. But uh, yeah, that's gonna have to get a, a C plus. It's not bad, not terrible, not 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 amazing though.